surprise. Clearly. And what's that supposed to mean? It means, who's he? Uh, Grey? Oh, he's just staying. Uh, young enough to be your son. <laughs> Darling, he's a colleague of mine. Well, we haven't worked in 20 years. I mean, he's a charity colleague. He's big in corporate sponsorship. Do you always throw yourself at colleagues that you meet? Okay, honestly. Catch yourself one of these days, you're so sharp. Does Dad know? <sighs> know what? This is a perfectly innocent meeting about my charity work. The boy's as pure as the driven snow. <laughs> Just how you like them. If we're finished here with our little chit chat, I'm going to step back inside to avoid being rude. How much? I beg your pardon? How much to keep my mouth shut? What on earth do you mean, you vile girl? You catch my drift. <laughs> Don't play games with me, young lady. It's not big, and it certainly isn't clever. Fine. I'm feeling a little peckish anyway. I might pop in for a bite myself. All right. I beg your pardon? Oh, just wait. This is purely to avoid a scene, you understand? And Jenny's told me how hard up you are. I'm not as hard-hearted as you think. Yes, Mother. Why don't you take yourself shopping? Somewhere nice. And far away from here. Fine. If this is for not creating a scene, how much for not telling Dad? You should be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> but I shouldn't be surprised. You've been hard work from the day you were born. Call me a chip off the old block, then. Why don't you just take what you've been given and be grateful I don't tell your father about what you've just suggested? Now clear off! Thank you, Mother. Enjoy your lunch.